Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Fairby wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Here on the front it says audio video, wireless HDMI, 1080p 60Hz, fast speed with 5 GHz, AC, multiple in, multiple out, auto channel selection, multi-user mode, plug and play, app free, we have more features listed on the back. So this supports the video modes so it supports 1080p but it also supports lower resolutions like 720p even down to 480p it supports stereo sound latency is about 100 milliseconds distance is 100 feet or 30 meters hdmi version is 1.4 with hdcp 1.3 so this supports mac windows android any devices with hdmi jack it uses aes 128 bit security and it uses wpa2 authentication protocol so this gives examples of the transmitter as a pc laptop camera dv cam set top box ps5 ps4 or switch and and receiver you have TV monitor or projector. So let's get this open. So here we have the receiver and the transmitter. Super easy to tell which is which because it has a letter right on the button. I like that. Here's the bottom. It says power is DC 5 volts at 500 milliamps. We have vents on the side. We have micro USB ports for power. And then on the end we have the HDMI plug. So if you're unsure what this is, here I have an HDMI cable that you would use to connect a device to a TV or monitor. And this is just the wireless version of that. So if you take this, cut it in half, and make it work wirelessly, that's what this is. So here we have the user guide. And under here we have cables. This is an HDMI cable, this too. So this is a short extension. So since these are kind of large, you might have devices where these won't fit directly into it. So you can extend it out from the device using these cables. And then here we have two micro USB to USB-A power cables. Let me get a measurement on one of those. So that's about 31 inches. Let's take a look at the user guide. So here it lists the features. It's plug and play, app free. So this lists the product features here, which we went over a lot of these already, and the specs. And here's an overview. So it has an LED to tell the status. So if it's flashing red, transmitter is searching for receiver. If it's flashing red and fast, it's doing reset. Flashing blue, waiting for connection. Static blue is connected and starting to present. Purple is no HDMI in. And here's the receiver. So you connect the receiver to the HDMI port of the display, connect the micro USB port to the receiver of the TV USB port through the USB cable power supply. So this is if you're connecting to a TV. Most modern TVs have USB ports on it. If it doesn't, you can use a separate cell phone charger. Even the small cell phone charger will be able to output 5 volts at 0.5 amps. And here's some examples of it working. Now you can connect up 16 transmitters to one receiver. So then you can switch between devices. So if you have multiple people that need to present, that's a good option. And this talks about streaming from the transmitter. So when you plug this into a laptop, it may have enough power to power the transmitter. If it doesn't, you'll need to plug in the USB. So let me get this set up to demonstrate it. So here I have a laptop and I have a monitor. So I have a cable on the monitor just so I don't have to reach around to the back to hook things up. And I have a little device here I can join the two sides together. So I will hook the receiver into the monitor. Now this monitor does not have USB, so I'll be plugging it in and powering it from a USB charger. Now this is overkill, you can just use a small phone charger. I'll plug into the micro USB here. So I don't know that there's enough power on the transmitter, so I'll plug this into USB. Okay, so it's connecting up. And it's seeing a keyboard. Let me get rid of that. And now we're mirroring the screen. So let me open up an app so you can see the window on both screens. And I can move it on both. So there is that 100 millisecond latency between the two devices. Now to my computer, this looks like a separate monitor. And my computer is currently set up to mirror a display to HDMI. So you can go into your display settings and you could set this up as an extended display. Like I said earlier, this is the same as sticking an HDMI cable into my computer and connecting it up to the monitor. I can also pass audio through here. If I go into my sound settings, there's a device called TXHD 1080p and that will send audio through this adapter. So let me pull up a browser. So I'm going to pull up Netflix, I'll pull up a movie. Now I'm going to have to blur this out, I don't have rights to show it on here. But you can see I can stream Netflix to my monitor from my computer. Of course, these are right next to each other. So let's try something else. I'll unplug this from my laptop. And here I have a Fire TV Cube. It has HDMI out on it, I'll plug into it. It also has a USB port, I'll plug in there. And now I'll go put this in another room. Okay, so I plug that in. Okay, so I plugged the Fire TV Cube in on the other side of the room. So here we have the interface. So I can pull up a movie. 
and have too many people on my account. Let's do Prime Video. So now it's streaming audio and video from the Fire TV Cube to the monitor. So that was the Fairby Wireless HDMI Transmitter and Receiver. I really like how easy this was to set up. These have nice labels on it, so you can put the one with the T into your source, and you can put the one with R into your display, connect up some power, and then it will just turn on, just the same as if you had plugged a cable in. And when I say it works like plugging a cable in, this also supports HTCP, or HD copy protection, so you can stream things from a media device to your TV. So you can use this with streaming services. So this would be ideal for places like a boardroom. You could plug the receiver into a projector. The transmitter could be plugged into the presenter's laptop. You could also use this in a theater room. You could plug the receiver into a projector and the transmitter into your media device. Maybe you have a wall-mounted television and you don't want a Blu-ray player hanging off the back of it. You could plug the transmitter into the back of the Blu-ray and the receiver into your TV. Another place you could use this would be an RV. Your TV might not be in a place where you have your TV tuner, DVD player, or other media device, so you could use this as opposed to running a cable. And these are also very small, so you just have the power cables and these so if you want to put these in your laptop bag, they're not going to take up a lot of room. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.